Morning. What are you waiting for? Morning, mister. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, uh, fine then. Okay, boy. Morning, partner. You fixing to come to grief, What's huh? What's your problem? How you doing? Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Who's your that's... friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well... I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. Oh, you on my turf now, boy. Okay there. Uh, impressive. Hello, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky. Runs the operations there badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss it. Of course you do. It goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. How are you? Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper.
Whoa, easy. You there! <laughs> Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah! There they go! Shoot! Oh, man! Stupid! Stupid! Ah, oh. oh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Okay, boy.
boy. Such a goddamn performance with you. Now I told Need you something. I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took, it's payday. I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. You think it's tough? Oh, all right, all right. He has all my money. I, I gave it all to him. Just take everything that you find on him and let's be done with it. Please. Hey, partner. Leave hey, me alone, you won't you? Long, You've got the debt. I didn't steal that, it's a debt. Damn it. Ain't my concern, no sir. Stop, or I'll kill you, I swear. You're making this worse on yourself. Okay, I'm gonna beat the Don Tar out of you. Not you messed up. <laughs> like it rough? Come on, boy. 
What do you want? I'm guessing you ain't here. Beatrick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the green horn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You lost money. Ah. Teeth as well. Okay then, partner. Hold still. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yep. Not bad, boy.
<laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls! <laughs> like that'd be enough. But mark my words, one of these days, Karen will slip old Grimshaw's throat. Hey there. We all hate her. But Mary Could really use some good meat for this stew. All right, let me see. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Karen hates her more than anyone, and she hates Karen. And Karen ain't one to hate unwisely. I've seen her cut men up more than once. If Grimshaw goes missing, good evening, Arthur. I'll give you twenty to one. Karen did it. Only she won't. Grimshaw. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? I made a start on things. Haven't recovered all of it yet. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Let me see some more smiling, boys. Come on. It's actually pretty good. A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men. My people were peasants starving in a field someplace. The mamas were in Lincolnshire. My Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Good morning. O'Driscoll. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? All right, then. Okay, boy.
Knock, Mr. Robo. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. Kim jesteś? I'm here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, Leopold Strauss. I nie mam pieniędzy. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand it. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Ah! Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. I don't have money, but, but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Better be something somewhere. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. The longer I look, the madder I get. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Don't even speak English. Behind there. So, uh, przepraszam, nie, nie rozumiem. Move aside. Rusakom nie można ufać. Amerykańcom też. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie! Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things.
Tickling my britches. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. I'm afraid your trip here... <coughs> has, <coughs> ...has been in vain. The debt will be paid when I can pay it, sir. There's there's nothing more I can say. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. I'm working, <coughs> I'm working as hard as I can. You have to be more reasonable. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, I'm... Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Morning, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Morning, Arthur. Okay, boy. Or a siphon. Here, drink oh, this. Oh, 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 medicine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh, oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Boy. He's...
way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. I... <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but... You know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Here. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Whoa! Watch it. <laughs> that must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Okay. 
I reckon we could do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here, please. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. It's a pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty. Or who, whomever built it. But our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Top A little bit better. Ah, ah. This session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. Irish. A reasonable. Have a think about it. I'm down. Start there. 
gonna crash it. Yeah, don't slow down. Like seeing such things. Just wanted to get yeah, this done. I'll settle here. down. One of and I days. wanted this done quiet and simple, but there we go. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. Yeah. Slow it down a bit. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did at Blackwater. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yep. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah.
me. I'm only kidding around. Whatever you say. Okay, okay. I really am done now. Hey, mister. Extra, extra, right here. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Good to see you. I do. What can I do for you? Well, let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. You live out here, you keep that handy. Smile on your face, guaranteed. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Don't listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. I can't prove it, but the bank's stealing my money. I swear it. Every time I walk out of there, my ledger's lower and lower. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Got what I need. Hey, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen. Thanks, Mister. Out of
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, boy.
please help me out of here. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Nice folks around here. Yeah. Hey there. Oh, he...
Shell of safety. Shell of safety. speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Am I getting through to you now? That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to 
want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um... Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. <laughs> 